she is the deer that made Milwaukee famous. New at 10, we remember Penny Marshall for making Laverne a household name and helping put our city on the map. Three decades after Laverne and Shirley went off the air, the sitcom is still synonymous with Milwaukee. Penny Marshall died today at 75. She did more than play the role of Laverne. But as Tom Durian found out tonight, her character and this city are intertwined. Tom? Yeah. Steve and Carol, local experts tell me that the show was set here in Milwaukee because even though Penny Marshall was born in the Bronx, that hard, tough-hitting persona that she had was perfect for Bruce City. Milwaukee City Hall in the opening credits of Laverne and Shirley. It was a love letter to the people of Milwaukee. Tonight, the city returns the tip of the hat with Penny Marshall's name in lights at the Historical Society. It was not sophisticated comedy. Laverne and Shirley was sort of a retelling of the old Lucy and, um, and Lucy and Ethel from the old I Love Lucy. It was two working girls from Milwaukee working in a brewery that got into all these crazy, silly predicaments. Former tourism executive Dave Fantle worked with Penny Marshall and her brother Gary, the man who created Happy Days and its spinoff, Laverne and Shirley, both set in Milwaukee but with few actual ties to the city. The only frame of film is the opening credits to Laverne and Shirley when you see briefly City Hall. Other than that, it was all shot in the safe confines of Paramount Studios. So the Bronze Fonds was put up in 2008, and the Marshalls were here for the dedication and a trip to the Brewers game. That's Penny in the second row. Tonight, Fonds holds a memorial to Penny. Laverne and Shirley live on at the Lakefront Brewery Tour, where tourists get a chance to reenact that famous opening scene. It makes you nostalgic, especially since I come from here. Shirley and Laverne like epitomize what Milwaukee is, and they were just like the down-home Milwaukee girls. But we'll we'll keep her alive. We'll keep doing this. Uh, like I say, she's she's brought hundreds of millions of, of smiles to people, and we'll just keep on keep it going. And uh, Dave tells me on that trip in 2008 to Milwaukee, uh, Penny had a few requests. She wanted a signed baseball from the commissioner of baseball, Bud Selig, and the entire Milwaukee Brewers team. She did get that. Dave also tells me she said she was very fond of Milwaukee because of the smoking rules here or the lack thereof. She stayed at the Fister. We're not sure in 2008 if you could smoke in the hotel, but maybe she broke some of the rules. We've seen some people here tonight taking pictures of the letters behind me. Reporting live in downtown. Tom Dury in today's TMJ4. She is a part of our fabric. Thank you very much, Tom. Marshall was also a director. She worked with Tom Hanks on her biggest films. The actor sent out this message today. Goodbye, Penny. Man, did we laugh a lot. Wish we could still do so. Love you, Hanks.